again. <laughs> May have just booked flights for tomorrow. <laughs> what a child, I'm super responsible now. <laughs> no, I'm not. It is the best backpack I've ever used in my life and I will never use another bag again. Yeah. You only cuddle the camera. <laughs> you give Atlas big cuddles. <laughs> I just feel like anyone who's watching this who like I used to really like having a planned life and just like, what the fuck is wrong with you girl? Okay guys, on average, how early do you book your holiday? Do you book it like a week in advance? Do you book it like a month or a year in advance? Because I may have just booked flights for tomorrow. <laughs> road of cans. This is hilarious. So Patrick, as you guys are well aware by now, is literally obsessed by board games. And once a year he goes to this big event where a whole bunch of guys and girls and humans <laughs> all get together. And I'm saying humans because I just imagine when I say this that I think of kids and it's like, no, these are these are adults. Um, they all get together and play board games for like a couple of days straight. So they all rock up on like a Friday morning and they play board games straight until Sunday evening. When Patrick went to this last year, they literally, <laughs> he was telling me that they literally got up like really early as so well. He got there really early on a Friday morning and then didn't sleep. So he just like had a couple all nighters where they just played board games like 24 seven. I look at that and I'm just like, to love something that much. I'm like, oh, I was literally about to say, like, I don't think that there's anything in my life that I love that much that I would do 24 hours a day. <laughs> and then as I had that thought, I was like, you're a parent, you do that. But yeah, outside of that, I don't think that there's anything that I've really had in my life that I would do like 24 hours in a row. So like, it's kind of cool seeing people with that commitment to anything. Um, but anyway, on a tangent, I just booked flights to Cairns. Me and Addie are gonna go up and see my best mate and her family. They live in a Toyota Coaster and they're just traveling around. And it's funny cause the last time that last year when Patrick went away to his board game weekend. I went and caught up with these guys. Um, and so we were kind of like, oh, we should do that. But we literally said that a couple of days ago. And then they're like, oh, just hire a, hire a camper van and come up. And I was like, just the logistics of it. And I was like, oh, fuck it. Like, let's just do it. Like, I have really been working with the affirmation in my life at the moment about life is for adventure. I, one of the, my favorite affirmations that I'm saying every day is I invite adventure into every day. And I think for me, the reason that this has been so important is because I am someone who has this, I want to say like a bit of a gypsy heart, a total gypsy heart, to be honest. Like if when Atlas was born, I had like complete control over what we were doing, then we would be living on the road. What that would look like, who knows? Um, but I guess that's kind of one of the things, hey, with like balancing being a parent is that there's like, there's two people involved. So we've really, it's been an interesting path for us navigating that for Patrick. He has definitely been someone who, after he had a child, he really, um, connected deeply to this um, idea that he had to be a provider because that's kind of the story that's gone on in his life um, and for him he felt like he had to have a full-time job to do that and so as we've been navigating that over the last couple of years and we've decided that we're looking for our van which please come into our life soon um, you know as we've been doing that we've really been navigating this so for me I think some of the, the struggles with parenting in a house in one place, especially while Patrick has a full-time job, has been that I have wanted my life to look different and not because I am unhappy or that I don't love being a mom, but just because for me, I've never really wanted to stay in one place for a long period of time. And I wanna keep moving and I wanna keep seeing different things. So 
in saying that, it's also been really easy for me to get comfortable here. And so we just like got back from Greece a couple of weeks ago. And when they were like, just come up and visit, I instantly was like, oh, hell yeah. And it's been really interesting because I've put off um, getting the flights for the last couple of days. And I noticed yesterday when I really sat with that and I was like, why haven't I booked the flights yet? What is going on in here? I realized that I was holding quite a lot of anxiety around traveling on my own with Atlas, around spending a week, just the two of us without Patrick. And when I really sat with that, it kind of started dissipating. I mean, I'm gonna, not gonna lie that I'm not like t a tiny bit anxious. I think that the thing that I'm most anxious about is how I'm gonna carry a, our pack Atlas in our hiking pack, plus our bags, plus, oh, that's probably it. I'm actually probably gonna be okay. Um, but yeah, I'm, as I said, like one of the affirmations that I've been really saying to myself is that I invite in adventure into our life every day. And so there was no way I was gonna say no to this. <sighs> Even though, <laughs> Even though I don't um, currently have a camper. Um, and also I just found out, God, I hope that's someone telling me they have a van for us. Um, even though I just also found out that you cannot, so we fly in at six o'clock tomorrow night. You act, there's no camper van places open. So I've also been messaging some people that I'm friends with in Cairns and saying, hey guys, can you put us up for a night? So yeah, this is gonna be fascinating. Oh, hi, Raina. It's lovely to speak to you. Um, I am calling because I may have left it to the total last minute to try and organize a camper. Um, I'm trying to find out if there's any campers available to pick up from Cairns tomorrow. We can only have a look Perfect. tomorrow. Return back to Cairns as well? Yeah, um, on the 30th it would be. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Wonderful. I'll have a look at that and give you a call shortly. Alright, beautiful. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Alright, bye. bye. Okay, so she's gonna call me back um, because it's taking too long to upload. But guys, fingers crossed for me that we're gonna get a camper because if we don't get a camper with these guys, <laughs> I don't know who we can possibly get a camper with just about exhausted all resources. Okay, I thought I'd just touch on something as well. So if we don't get a camper, um, the, our options are, so we were originally gonna go up and take a tent up and that was just our plan. Like me and Atlas in a tent, be great. Um, Jens and Chris have got their coaster, so like we would have cooking facilities. Um, I didn't really think about the fact that it's gonna be cold. Though we've got epic sleeping bags, so it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, though <laughs> you guys know how much out of sleep, so maybe it would be the worst thing. I don't know. It would definitely be something worth vlogging about. It would be an interesting story. Um, but I guess if we don't get a camper, I had just like in my head, I was like, well, they'll just, we, they can pick us up from the airport. We can just go hang out. I didn't really think about the fact that their car has got four seats. For their, the four members of their family, <laughs> there's two of us with no seats. So that probably won't work. So I'm guessing maybe if we don't get a camper, we'll possibly get a car. Maybe one that we can sleep in. Does that then make it a camper? I don't even know. <laughs> I just feel like anyone who's watching this who like, I used to really like having a planned life. I just like, what the fuck is wrong with you, girl? <sighs> okay, I'm gonna keep looking. We may not have the camper, but I mean, I've got flights booked, so I'm calling it that we are 100% going. Um, so while Atlas is not here at the moment, I have been madly trying to do a little bit of packing. So, so far, 
I have no idea what the weather's gonna be like. Apart from Jinza did say that it's been raining lots and Atlas does not have a rain jacket. So we're gonna pop out in a minute and come buy one. I think I might just go to like Kathmandu or somewhere. I think they've got quite a few kids raincoats and it's something that we have been like meaning to get for Atlas for a while. Um, it's just, we've kind of gone through the wet season in Queensland, which is really sad actually. We've gone through the wet season in Brisbane and there's literally been no rain. So maybe that sounds a little bit irresponsible waiting for it to rain before we actually buy a rain jacket. But we've been out hiking quite a lot and we haven't come across any rain. So I guess it just hasn't been on the top of our minds. Um, anyway, this is my version of packing right now. Pretty much have literally just piled our stuff up. And it's so funny when I look at this bag because I'm like, this is literally everything that we own in a bag. I'm so bad at, I'm really bad at the whole packing thing. Like, I mean, I'm a great packer in the sense that like, I can pack literally anything into a bag. I'm always the one in our family. And even before we had Atlas, when it was just me and Patrick traveling, I, I always packed our bags because I have been backpacking since I was like 18. I think it was the first trip I ever did around Africa. And I just can fit a lot into a bag, which is good if you need to fit a lot of stuff in a bag. But the thing that I'm really bad at is actually deciding what it is that we need to take. And because we don't have like a lot of things, what actually happens is like, I pack a whole, <laughs> I literally pack everything that we have in our bag and we always get to places and we never use everything that we have. And I'm like, I feel like those like minimalistic philosophies that I have like in my home life, I really, really need to learn how to be better at them with packing. But I actually, <laughs> I actually think that one of the things that is the problem is that we always leave packing till the very last minute. In fact, like today, we often leave holidays to the very last minute. And so it means I rush pack, um, which means everything goes in. Cause I'm like, I don't know, I don't know. Oh, it's in, it's in, it's all in. Um, so on that note, we use um, cloth nappies here and I generally don't use cloth nappies when I travel. Honestly, the mummers that do, oh, hats off to you guys. Um, but we are completely out of disposable nappies, so I need to go and get some of those too from the health food store. Um, they've got some great compostable ones, so we um, generally do those when we travel. So guys, take note for me of the things that we need to get shopping today. Nappies, snacks, we definitely need snacks, right? We're going on a plane, of course we need snacks. Uh, nappies, snacks, what's, oh, the freaking raincoat. Oh God, if I take this. If I remember this, you're well impressed. <clears throat> so if anyone's ever looking for a bag, this is my, I'm gonna, I'll show you it when it's fully packed. This is, I got this bag off my Arnie. It's an off spray bag and it's a backpack and it also has a handle. It is the best backpack I've ever used in my life and I will never use another bag again. So generally when I'm packing, Atlas's stuff will just go in smaller bags. So I don't know if anyone ever has these um, bow tree bags. They're great size for kids stuff. Um, all Atlas's stuff is literally just in two of those bags. Um, apart from his jumper. And then I've got him, it's probably gonna be pretty cold. He's just got some little um, slippers that my mum bought him. And while we were in Greece, my mum actually bought Atlas these like little reef shoes on the beach um, in Greece and they're actually so great for hiking where it's wet so he'll like use those if we go like out of the waterfalls and things like that he's always been a, a barefoot kid but just recently um, he's been asking more for shoes um, and this is oh guys check this out I don't think we need two jump we definitely don't need two jumpers but check out this jumper my mom knitted Addy God, that's cute. <clears throat> um, and then I've literally just got my clothes. So I pretty much just got hiking and yoga clothes because I think that's what I'm going to be in the most. Um, and then a couple of my favorite OPR items. And <laughs> you guys know all about my favorite op shop shirt. Um, and then some yoga pants. Oh, and there must be shorts over there. 
that's it. Um, and my joggers, we'll definitely need those. Um, yeah, that's it. So let me tell you about the things that I love about this backpack. And obviously we're not sponsored here because Osprey is like, I'm sure they have like super famous people sponsoring them. Um, but these packs have both internal and external um, straps. And so you literally can fit anything in here. Like this is just me and Atlas for a week. <laughs> and I haven't rolled or packed anything, but we fit the three of us two weeks in Greece or in this pack. It's incredible. Um, it has got the thingo and it rotates on all corners. Like it's a super easy one of these packs. <laughs> Slidey thing bags. The other thing as well is just behind here, you can unstrap this. And it's got the full backpack um, straps. So it's got really adjustable, great straps. And it's got the middle belt buckle. So it's actually like got a really nice backpack um, component to it. It's not just like a shoddy one. And I've got a feeling that these bags have like a lifetime warranty. Like I'm pretty sure my auntie said she's had it for like 20 years. Um, and I think she may have got the wheels replaced once and um, it was completely free. I will say that these wheels looked a lot better before the bag got given to me and Patrick. <laughs> We've given it a good bashing. Um, but yeah, it is just the best bag. I absolutely love it. And I've only ever used backpacks. I've never used a suitcase before. Um, but I must say that like when we went to Japan, um, and Greece where there's like lots of pathways and we're also carrying Atlas in another pack um, It was so convenient. It was super easy. I love that it can be a backpack too So we've got this one which I will just pull along tomorrow um, And then I will have Atlas on my back in this one. Um, this is a hiking pack Atlas loves being in a pack. We actually haven't done any research on hiking packs. Um, some friends of ours had done a lot of research and we were just going to get whatever they got because sometimes life is easier that way. Um, and then my mum was actually in an op shop and she was like, well, I found this pack. It was $12 in the op shop. Um, and it's an old Kathmandu one. Um, she took it home and gave it a good scrub. I yeah, know my mum's the best. Um, and the thing that I love about this pack is that there is so much room in here. Inside this back part, you can see where, what we've had in here. I haven't cleaned this from when we were last on hiking. It was only a couple of days ago, guys, so <laughs> the fruit hasn't been in here too long. Um, so we normally put food down here, mine and Patrick's drink bottle in here, Atlas's drink bottle in here. Um, anything else that we might need, like we usually have a couple of backup um, disposable nappies. These are the Toshi ones that we use that are the decomposable ones um, that we often take hiking so that we don't have to carry around more weight um, than we need to. And when we first got this pack, it had just the one uh, material thing on it. And we actually found that Atlas had would fall forward. And so my mom has made one of these for the front too. Again, guys, my mom's amazing. <laughs> Oh, I just heard something ding. I'm pretty sure that could possibly be my emails. I have never heard them ding before. Let's just have a look. Okay, surely one of those has to be good news. All right, thank you so much. <laughs> Beautiful, yeah. Yeah, Friday morning. All right, bye. <laughs> We have a camper. <laughs> we have a camper. Um, funny thing though, cannot pick up on a... We cannot pick up at six o'clock when I'm arriving there. Um, so we are gonna pick it up on Friday morning. I have absolutely no idea what we're gonna do tomorrow night in Cairns. 
I wish that this was live and that anyone in Kansas watching this and then be like, I can put you guys up. <laughs> Seriously guys, I hope that we find somewhere to stay. <laughs> Okay guys, we have got the camper booked, flights are done, bags are packed. Seriously, it is so lucky that today is Atlas's one kindy day a week because I don't know how. Oh, I don't know if you guys have ever tried to pack with a toddler, but it is the most fascinating process. It's like you put two things in, they take three things out. Anyway, that went a lot faster than I expected. Um, I now am going to go out and get... What was it that I was getting? Oh, raincoat. Oh, and snacks. Um, and nappies. All right, guys. Bear with me. Okay, so rain jacket, done. Chai, also done. I don't know about anyone else, but I seriously hate shopping centers. Like I avoid them at all costs. I just feel like it's like sensory overload for me. We even do like our grocery shopping, we do at the market. So it's not often that I go into a shopping center and that wasn't fun. Even though I literally just walked to Kathmandu and walked out. Um, but we have a rain jacket. It was on sale, it was like half price, which is awesome. Um, the reason that I went for one from Kathmandu, like it still was like $75, um, but the reason that I went for one from there and I got a bigger one was because it's also a windbreaker. So I've always had a good quality windbreaker and a good quality like warm jacket and it has got me through everything. And so I really wanted that for Atlas because over the next year we've got a lot of travel planned and we are hoping to get over to Canada in about a year's time and I know it's going to be a lot colder there so having that outer shell is like it's as far as I'm concerned it's like money well spent. Okay. Let's go pick Addy up from Kindy and see what he has to say about this whole trip and my incredible <laughs> planning over the last, we'll say 10 hours, hasn't been 10 hours, 7 hours. Um, we do not have anywhere to stay tomorrow night yet, but I am working on that. <laughs> And we are here at Atlas's Kindy. This is seriously like the part of the day. He goes to Kindy one day a week. And as soon as it gets to five o'clock, I'm like so freaking excited to go and see him. However, I also on the way on the drive here got a message from my friend who I sent a message about, about um, staying at her house tomorrow night. She lives in Cairns. Let's listen to it and see what she says. I haven't listened to it yet. Fingers crossed. That is so fantastic. I love it. it. Sounds exactly like something that I would do too. And of course you can come and stay. Um, I'm actually just sitting at Hoot at the moment. My bedroom, uh, my apartment is a one bedroom apartment. Of course you can, well you'd stay in my room and I'd just sleep on the couch because I don't like my guests just sleeping on the couch. Come on. But I was also thinking if you wanted to, you could um, stay in Hoot. It'd be like illegally on the street though. So maybe not the best, but anyway, yes, of course you can stay with me and um, I can come pick you up and we can have some dinner and then go back to mine and um, yeah, I'll just roll out a swag or something. So. <laughs> Just to clarify, Hoot is her caravan and she's worried about it being parked illegally on the street. Girl, <laughs> my life is about to be illegal on the street. <sighs> I'm gonna go message her. Okay, so one, there is no way you were gonna sleep on the couch. Me and Atlas can definitely do that and also so funny that you're like, um, <laughs> we can stay in Hoot but it's illegal, girl. I love the illegal side. <laughs> I'm about to like, I'm trying to convince Patrick that we should move our whole life in a van and just live the illegal life 24 seven. So I am obviously happy with either or, or. Um, our plane gets in at six o'clock tomorrow night. I'm like, I'm actually so excited about us hanging out. I feel like I haven't seen you in actually like years and years. Like I've had a child, <laughs> I've had a child. I'm super responsible now. <laughs> no, I'm not. Okay, let's go get out of here. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Are you coming? Kindy. Are we going home? Kindy. You want to stay at Kindy? You do you want to come home? No. no. What about see Dada? Yeah. You want to see Dada? Yeah. And what about Opa? Yeah. Do you want to see Opa? Yeah. Are you going to come home? No. You just want to stay at Kindy? <laughs> Mummy was so excited to see you. And say bye bye. And a cuddle. You want to cuddle the camera? <laughs> you give Atlas big cuddles? Okay. Oh, you want to give Atlas big kisses? No, no, this one. Oh, beautiful kisses. I this. Close this? Yeah. Okay. And I see. And I see. You want to see? Yeah. Do you want to say hello to everyone? Hello, everyone. <laughs> Is mummy taking you home? Yeah. Did you have fun at kindy today? Mummy. Yeah. And family. And who? Yeah. And daddy? Yeah. And who else are we going to see Opa. at home? Opa! 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 Do you know tomorrow, Atlas, yeah. we're going to go on an aeroplane? Yeah. You and me? Yeah. We're going to go to Cairns? Yeah. Yeah. Fly. We're going to fly up in the sky. Yeah. And then when we get to Cairns, we're going to stay the night with a very old friend of mine. Yeah. And then the next day after that, yeah. guess who we're going to go visit? Yeah. Have a guess. Yeah. Who do you think we might go and visit? Nana. Oh, it's not Nana. It's someone else that you talk about a lot. Nana. Aya. <laughs> and Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Are you excited about seeing Chris? You always tell mummy about Chris, don't you? <laughs> and who else is who else is with Aya and Chris? Yeah. Who else do they live with? Yeah. Nana. <laughs> Nana. <laughs> what about I am? Nana. Are <laughs> you very excited to see? You're going to see Nana tomorrow morning, actually. Nanny cuddles. You can have Nanny cuddles tomorrow morning. And guess what? Annie Jinty's going to be there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Annie Jinty, yeah. <laughs> And that we're going to stay with them in their bus. Yeah. Well, we're going to have our own van and they're going to be in the bus. Yeah. And we're going to do hiking. Drive it. You can drive their bus, I'm sure. Maybe you can take it in turns with Aya. Mm -mm. And we can go see some waterfalls. Mm -mm. Waterfalls. Yeah. Yay. And we can go swimming. Hey Chucky. Yeah. Do you know what Mummy got you for? Do you know what Mummy got from the shops today? Yeah. I got you a raincoat. Yeah. I got it for when we go to Cairns because when we go, I think we're gonna go to the Atherton Tablelands. It's going like when we go out to the waterfalls and stuff, there's probably gonna be a bit of rain. So we might have to do some hiking in the rain. Yeah. Yeah? So do you reckon when we get home you could try on your raincoat and we can see if it fits? Yeah. Yeah? Do you want to show mummy your jacket? Do you want to do a spin? Yeah. Spin around. <laughs> Are you going to go chase some waterfalls in it? So it's safe to say the jacket definitely fits. And what's even better is it is actually oversized. Although it was a size two, it's like pretty big on him, which is great. Because it would definitely last us a couple of years. Maybe a year. <laughs> I still don't know how much kids grow. And we did it. <laughs> so we've got about 12 hours until we get on the plane. And it was only 10 hours ago that we decided that we would do this trip. And everything is sorted. I feel like everything's sorted. Like bags are packed, snacks are packed. Um, really the only important things. Uh, it, flights are booked. We have got our camper van sorted out for when we get to Cairns. I mean, for Friday. You guys all know what happened, what's happening tomorrow night. So we're staying at a friend's house in Cairns and she's gonna pick us up from the airport too. And she apparently lives five minutes from Cairns airport, which I had no idea about. I haven't seen her since she was last living in Brisbane, like years and years and years ago. So that's actually, it's, it's all turned out perfect. So yeah, can't wait to take you guys along on this trip. This is gonna be the first big trip that Atlas and I have done just on our own because Patrick's got his big board game weekend um, but yeah I definitely think it's going to be fascinating and incredible and 
you guys will see. <laughs> All right, see you guys soon. Mwah.